Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on negative enlargements. So there's only really one skill to go over in this video. We're going to start by looking at this example question here. So we have to enlarge shape A by a scale factor of minus 2 using 0, 0, in other words the origin, as the centre of enlargement. So let's just plot that point yet, right there, the origin, 0, 0. Uh, so usually with enlargements, what we do is we take the centre of enlargement, draw lines to the shape that we're enlarging, uh, and then go the distance beyond the shape that relates to the scale factor to plot the new points. Uh, with negative enlargements though, we, we go the other way. So we take the points of the shape and draw lines to the center of enlargement. So for this top left corner of shape A, I'm gonna go uh, two squares down and one square to the left. Um, and because this is a scale factor of minus two, uh, I'm gonna go another two squares down and one to the left and then the same distance again. So we're going twice the distance away from the center of enlargement. Uh, and then we'll do the same for this corner here in the bottom right. So here we're going, uh, we're going to go one down and two to the left to get to the center of enlargement. And then we'll do the same and the same again. So this is going to be the new point there. And now this last one's a little bit tricky. Uh, this is about uh, 1.6 squares across. Uh, so call it one and a half squares uh, across from the center of enlargement and two up from the center of enlargement. So we're going to go two down and about one and a half across. And then we'll go uh, two down and about one and a half across again, and then again. So we should end up about here. Our new shape will look something like this. So in this second example here, we have to enlarge shape B by a scale factor of minus one using minus one minus one as the center of enlargement. Uh, so this time we're not enlarging it about the origin, and we've got this point here as our center of enlargement. So we'll take the bottom right corner of shape B. And to get to the center of enlargement, what we're going to do is go one square across and uh, it looks like four squares up. So that's there. And then we'll do the same thing again beyond the center of enlargement since this is just a scale factor of minus one. Uh, so this is going to be the new point up here. So that's the point zero three. Now if we do the same for the top left corner of shape B, uh, to get to the center of enlargement, we're going one square up and we're going four squares uh, across. And then we'll do the same thing again. So four squares across and one square up. That should take us to here. Uh, and then we've just got these last couple of points to do. So for this point here, we're going to go three across and three up. And then we'll go three across and three up again. You should be able to see that the last point here, four across and four up to the center of enlargement, is going to come out there. So the new shape uh, will be up here.